Rhodiola rosea is in a group of herbal compounds which are known as adaptogens. Through various different mechanisms, they're able to lower the effects of stress on the body. One of the most popular adaptogens is ashwagandha, and I did a video on this a while back, but rhodiola is gaining some popularity. If you lead a stressful life or you're looking to potentially supplement with rhodiola, you wanna watch this video until the end. I'm gonna answer the question, does rhodiola supplementation actually improve performance? If you're new here, my name's Adam. I'm a certified and registered performance nutritionist and personal trainer. First of all, I wanna drill home something I always stand by. You don't need supplements. They're there to supplement what you're already doing and maybe give you that extra edge. So if you're ticking all the boxes, you're getting in your workouts, that's resistance training, you're moving more, you're getting in nutrition, you're getting some daylight or sunlight, you're also getting sleep, like good quality sleep, then there's something you may want to consider. But first, obviously the foundational supplements I always recommend. If you're doing all those things and you want a bit more, protein, creatine, and omega-3 if you're like me and you just don't get enough fatty fish. Then if you've got some extra euros, dollars, pounds, you may want to look at herbal supplements like ashwagandha or maybe even rhodiola. When you look at the studies on rhodiola, it seems to improve your mood, reduce stress levels, it seems to improve general health, reduce fatigue and improve cognition. I will admit, there's not a lot of research, especially when it comes to performance, but there's enough research for me to have spent my Saturday night reading it and writing the plan for this video. Grant Tinsley and Andy Galpin are two of the biggest names in sports performance in terms of nutrition, in terms of supplementation, and overall exercise. They actually recently reviewed the available studies on Rhodiola rosea. This actual paper is titled Rhodiola rosea as an adaptogen to enhance exercise performance a review of the literature. A literature review is basically where a group of researchers will look at the available evidence, all the available studies, and basically tear it apart and come to a conclusion based off what is already available. So what did they found? They found that rhodiola rosea has the potential to enhance exercise performance and performance related outcomes in several types of exercise. However, the current literature does not unanimously show ergogenic, that means like performance enhancing, effects of supplementation with this plant. You're probably thinking, should I even bother? What type of exercise? Tell me more. Now let's answer these questions. In terms of performance, improve time to exhaustion, a fancy word of saying performance, during incremental maximum effort testing and time trial performance, both using basically a stationary bike that measures the amount of work done by pedaling the bike. There's not many studies on resistance training, but one recent study by Lou et al. found that 30 days of supplementation with 2,400 milligram per day of rhodiola, that's a 0.5% salad de rose and rosevean, not reported, we'll get to that later, alongside supervised resistance training, increased strength and overall performance. This resistance training program contained 13 sessions over the 30 day period. While this might seem like a lot of rhodiola, like it's gonna break the bank, but most of the rhodiola in the research was made up of 1% salad of reside and 3% rosevin. So that's very likely that half that dose would generate like similar results at least. I wouldn't worry too much about that. That's just the extract to make sure that your rhodiola has that in it and to make sure that it's roughly within the same amount that's been researched. So that's the 1% and 3%, like I said. And another study on resistance training had some mixed findings. I will say, just as the paper said, that more research on rhodiola is needed to kind of suggest that it should definitely be used or like it's a higher tier supplement, but it did get my attention. And I have been using it for around four weeks now, and I've actually used 500 milligrams of my supplement because it's a higher extract for my workouts. So what I would recommend based on the research is around 1,000, I would say 500 to 1,500 milligrams at most, like one hour before you work out. I would say start at the lower dose and then see how your body responds, see if you see any benefits. Personally, what I've seen is I've seen 
a few more reps and nothing else has changed. Now I'm starting to get into a, like a calorie surplus. So that's gonna be kind of hard to measure as in hard to measure what's actually doing what. But while I was still in the deficit, I did see slightly more reps. I saw an ability to maybe recover better between sets, which is always gonna be beneficial. I don't personally take it on days off, but if you wanna benefit from the like cognition, the improved memory or the reduced stress, you can take it. Some people suggest taking it like in the afternoon and some people suggest taking it in the morning. It's up to you. You could split the dose depending on how much you're going to take, but I would definitely start with a lower dose. So I don't have any specific brands I would recommend, but I would recommend going with like a trusted brand and making sure they have the standardized extract that's 1% salad reside and 3% Rosevin, or at least roughly that amount. As I said earlier, it's like a pebble I would recommend if you're doing everything right and you wanna see maybe some extra benefits, or you don't mind spending the extra money, or you wanna just try something new just to give you that slight bit of an edge, then yeah, give it a shot and let me know how you get on with it. Or if you've used it in the past, let me know how you get on with it. It's not something like I would recommend as a staple, like I said earlier, but I'm quite well into my fitness journey. I'm a bit of a geek as well. I like geeking out. So I like trying new things. So I did try it and I'm gonna continue to use it at least until my bottle's finished. That's all I really wanted to cover. Any questions at all, comment below. Any deeper questions, feel free to send me a message on Instagram at Adam Scott Fit. Have the best day ever and we'll talk soon.